Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do the zigzag. What I did was I pre-sectioned um, off uh, squares to make it a little bit easier. The back, I didn't ever pre-section off. Just these three first um, big squares. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a zigzag. I'm going to cross these over. And this is three parts. Separating it in three parts. I've already parted it off into three sections to start just to make it a little bit easier for me and I'm gonna start in the front and I'm just gonna braid like I'm braiding a regular braid and hold it down to the head and take my time every time I do it do a stroke I need to pull my hands all the way through the hair to ensure that it doesn't get too tangled like how it was earlier every single time and just move really, really slow. Okay. Okay, so I got one part of the zigzag complete. Now I have the second square, like it's I parted it and I sectioned the second square off already just to kind of make the video a little bit shorter because it was, hard, it was a little bit hard for me to upload the other videos on here. Okay, so then I'm going to begin to braid it back in that first square and like I say as you go through each one pull your hand through so that it don't doesn't tangle so I'm going back to the next square <laughs> okay so now so now I'm going to switch my hands this way so that I can um, have the braid going this way and go this way to create a zigzag. Cause I was, um, see how it's like looping like that? It's a zigzag.
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is because I want all the braids to be kind of thick, I'm going to add just a little bit more hair in. So what I do is this, when I add hair to, to braid it that I already braided, I just leave it in a hoof like that. And what I do is, um, what I do is I take the hoof like that and I put it in the braid, like, like just in there under with two of them. And I just continue to braid. It's pretty easy. I mean, I just put it in and I just start braiding. And then it's in there. You don't have to worry. It's now, now it's in there. So now that I just added a little bit more hair just to make it uh, thicker. And you do want to go pull your fingers through each time to ensure it from, um, you want to stop it from um, tangling. I have a light right here. I just can't believe that it's not visible. Good. I hope you guys can see this. The light is right above my head. I mean, I don't understand. Uh, so now I'm going to take that last section, that last square right here that I already pre-parted. And I'm going to braid into there. That first, there's, I'm going to take a little bit of hair off the first part and braid like I'm going back again. Like I'm braiding backwards, like that way. Um, like that. Pull, make sure you pull your hand through each time. It is a little complicated, but um, it's easier on other people. I've been doing this over 10 years. Okay, so then you turn your hand. You turn your hand going this way now. Because you're going to break the braid going down. Because you're doing zigzag. You're going back and forth, back and forth. So then I'm going to braid it going this way. Okay, so just add a little bit as you go. See, it's a zigzag. Just add a little bit as you go of your real hair into the weed. And braid going down. So, I'm trying to see myself here. Shoot, it's so dark. That everything is so dark all of a sudden. Um... I'm a bit better at plaiting the smaller braids the bigger braids for me I'm not gonna lie we're a tad bit harder I, I know it sounds crazy because it does take more it takes a, a more a little bit more work to braid smaller braids but it seems like it's a tad bit easier for me to braid them like this small so if I did a whole bunch of small cornrows it would have been a tad bit easier for me Hi, um uh, next you need to you need to take another section of hair, part it out, so that the zigzag can, can, can continue. And remember what I told you guys, uh, how you check the part. You want to grab your mirror um, in front of you. I mean, yeah, you want to hold your mirror. Uh-oh. You want to hold your mirror. So, um, so, so far, let's see. It's zigzagging. So sorry about that. I dropped the mirror. I dropped the I dropped the phone down. Uh oh, by accident. Okay. Let's see. So check.
check with the mirror make sure you have your mirror in front of you and your mirror behind you and that's how you can see the part if you have a bigger mirror it's better but i only have this small handheld mirror and this big mirror so i'm using a small one in front so the part was straight the first time that time it doesn't always you um it doesn't always uh get, be straight the first time when you put it in so every time every time is different okay so just um always check to ensure you know it doesn't if you can't see you don't know what's going on back there so you gotta just check to be on the safe side so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna make a hoof and add a little bit more hairpin here because i want all the braids um to have the same amount of weave in it So you just braid it in just like a regular braid and that is how you would add make sure you um, go all the way down to the bottom to um, make sure that it's untangled and then braid some down to ensure that it's locked in there and then what you want to do is braid back again So now I'm going this way to um, complete the zigzag. I mean, the zigzags are cool. I mean, you could do like four of these and it would be really cute by itself. And it doesn't take as long as doing those um, over braids. They're actually a tad bit easier and it takes up more space on your head. Because in order to do the zigzag braid, it, it pretty much would be more space. You need more space to do it. So it takes, it's not as, it doesn't take as long to do. It makes it a tad bit easier. So I'm going to do one more zigzag and then I'm just going to uh, braid it, the rest part, the back part going straight back down. Okay, so it's a little off. So I'm gonna take my rack tail and, and fix it. And then I'm gonna check again. And I actually, uh, when you do the zigzag, sometimes the parts don't even really show. I mean, one time I did zigzags and I had zigzag parts with zigzag braids. That was kind of cool. Um. I did the part straight, and then I um, would put the zigzag. The put the I put the zigzag inside of the part. That was kind of cool. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do? This is kind of thick now. So what I'm gonna do is just braid back like I did the other one, and just go make another zigzag, and just take a little bit of hair at a time, and take my time. Cause I was moving kind of fast, but you should take your time and just um, and get it done. Now 
Yeah, I'm very light skinny. I have another channel on here too, but the, the channel I can't, it, it was hacked. So my other two channels I can't um, get into. Okay, so now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go on and add the rest of the last hair in the, ba in the back and braid it down. So I'm gonna find this, the smallest, um, the smallest sections of this um, weave, and I'm, that's where I'm gonna to wanna to put that extra extension in. So right here, I see there's not enough that much weave, so that's where I'm gonna put add the rest of this weave in it. And that is it. You just want to braid on down to the end. And that is it. Oh, God. I'm not trying to take all night. It's always something. There's a little piece of hair I missed. Crap. I'm just going to stick that in, back in the braid. See how I just pushed that back in? It was just one little piece. And go on and finish. So I'm just going to braid it all the way to the end.
So I want it braided all the way down. And then at, once I get down, I'm going to uh, knot it in. So remember how I did the loop? Just take it and um, loop it and knot it. Take it, loop it, and knot it. Take it, loop it around the, the um, braid, loop the little piece of hair, a small piece, and knot it. Like, do it, do it about three or four times, five times. Loop it around, and it creates a knot. And then you can, it will not come out until you're ready. You take a comb and comb it out. If, if it comes out a little bit, you can just go over it and re -knot them. But usually, if you do that and then you boil it with hot water, that usually keeps them locked in until you're ready to take it down. And when you take it out, you should be able to, um, like, re-latch uh, them in pretty easy the way that I started with those two hoops I was telling you guys about. So, now I'm going to take the jam. And I need some hairspray, like some type of holding spray to spray after I put the jam on them. Looks pretty dry. And then once I put the gem on here, I will spray some spritz or some type of holding spray to keep it hold held. Um, holding spray is fine too. You don't have to do spritz. Holding spray is fine because spritz sometimes can make the hair itch. But it, that's the reason I'm using jam because it's pretty oily and I do have dry scalp. I do have um, eczema, so I need oil on my body and on my hair. Okay, so once I put the gel on it, it will um, kind of get in to it a little more. But um, yeah, I zigzagged it. The gel is on it. I zigzagged it. That's the under braid, and then that's an uh, under braid, over braid, under braid. Because the over braid kind of shows like a big. Thing, the under braid, you cannot see the knot. The knot is inside. So, that is the update. It is a bit harder to braid your own hair. And that is how um, you zigzag with extensions. Uh, please comment and subscribe.